He's like, hey, welcome to the vlog. My toes are like freezing. I'm walking around in flip-flops in 50 degree Fahrenheit weather. Day four of the Alaskan road trip. I put some long guns on. that bad boy up. I'm trying to get rid of that. Some of you may have not seen me use yet. It's called Damp Rid. This collects a lot of moisture. I hang it up in my trunk right next to the cooler. Collects all the moisture. We don't grow any mold. Healthy breathing. Smoky morning here. Kind of creepy. Pretty cold this morning. I think it's like 50 degrees right now. Just preparing us for Alaska. I don't think I'm prepared for the cold. Worst case scenario here, I'll have to pop out the Mr. Buddy heater propane guy. This is definitely not safe to sleep in your car, especially without the windows open because it does produce carbon monoxide. Best scenario would be a diesel heater like the British guy was just telling me. All of his buddies in Whistler, they use diesel heaters. Got my Happy Travels hat out. Merch is not out yet. First thing you want to do is get caught in the middle of the night when it's freezing. British guy doesn't have much gas left. He doesn't know if he'll make it to the next gas station. Watch Gmo's still asleep. Using the Starlink here, got it plugged into the anchor. I'll load this video off CapCut and then I'm gonna post it on all platforms. Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, Snapchat. Make sure you follow me on all of them, okay? And kick.com slash Michael Hickey if you wanna catch my live streams. Helping the British guy film a video right now for his channel. It's gonna be an absolute banger. That's kind of interesting. It says BC's and idle free to improve air quality. That's pretty nice. And then, I don't know how we always get away with this. No camping or night parking, but it's literally a rest stop for semis to come and I mean, we were not the only three people here. There's a bunch of people here last night. All of the trash cans in Canada so far have been these bear-proof trash cans. We're gonna hit the road. The goal is to make it about seven hours today. Gmo said he's gonna hang back and do some editing and like check out the town over there. Me and the British guy are gonna continue heading towards Alaska. I tried to get like eight hours in today. Gmo said he's gonna meet up with us later. Found some gas, 176. Not too bad right there. Let's just do tap to pay. Ended up spending about 41 Canadian here. Straight to the point there store. The sun is already starting to heat me up. I had to take off the shiesty. I took off my beanie. It's, what is it? It's the big one. You said 150? These are just matches. Oh, bathrooms? Yeah. We do around the corner at the laundromat if okay. it's open, but if not, then we actually leave the... The tree line? Yeah, yeah that's the bad too. <laughs> We're going. Alright guys, take care. Safe trip. Down to two here. Yeah. Lost one. So I just got some hot water from the gas station. 40 cents for the cup. I'm gonna toss some eggs in here. Oh, two. We'll let that sit for like 30 minutes. It's not quite boiling water, but it comes out of like the hot water spigot. It should be pretty hot. I'm filling up with some Canadian tap water. Hopefully I don't die. I'll be drinking this for the next couple of days. Screw it. Canada dry as a freezy. That's a first. Only in Canada, right? I got my hard boiled egg here. I, I don't know if it's done or not. Cracked. It did not cook. It's like a raw egg. It is not done at all. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these eggs now. Ooh, air fry. Stopped here at this racetrack in a little cafe. The hard boiled eggs did not work at all, so I just pulled out the uh, portable power station and I fried up the eggs. They're looking delicious. I'm gonna charge the portable power station in the cafe. I also have a can of tuna here I'm gonna munch on to get some more protein. Dinner, I we'll have tons of leftover spaghetti. They're very friendly, Aww. they're well socialized. The white one is 23 years old. What, 23? Yeah. That's insane. It is. Look at her. She's, she's not the best looking. She's got no teeth. Her tongue hangs out. <laughs> she's agile though. She's moving quick. Oh yeah, she's not slow. Let's go into this Olivia's cafe here. I got my, my uh, power bank charging right there. Got some tuna. They opened it up for me. So this is what I don't understand. It says 177.9, so it's like $177.9 for one liter of gas. I just don't understand how that works. Canco, I love the names. It's Canadian gas stations, it's funny. Fresh fried chicken. That is insane. Just filling up again here. Gonna grab my spaghetti out of the trunk so I can munch on something. Eat it to munch. 
Uh, which one's smaller? Probably this one. $46 Canadian, 27 liters there. When you start seeing signs like this, this is when you know you're getting closer. Live by the leaf. Time to partake in some bagged spaghetti, baby. I really believe spaghetti gets better over time. Let it sit and it marinates and the sauce, everything else the sauce combines with the noodles, with the mushroom. It really just brings out the flavor when you let it sit and marinate for a couple days. Nothing, literally nothing. All I've been doing is aux and I don't have service so I can't listen to music. But then I realized I have a CD. I want to get a, a CD, an album, so I can like have it in there and just have it as a backup anytime there's not service. I'm thinking like a Donda by Kanye or some good album. First look at these snow covered mountains right there. Absolutely crazy. I'm raw dogging the last two hours of this drive. We got an hour and 55 minutes left. We're gonna power through, get to this sleep spot, just relax for these long days of driving like back to back to back driving like you get so wound up and so like your body gets so tense after this alaska road trip i'm gonna go utah colorado montana north dakota south dakota see like all the cool sites in there try to like speed run each one of those states you know stay like three to four days max so basically trying to get to maine within like two weeks chill in maine you know go to toronto go to the niagara falls go check out stuff in new york and then i'm gonna drive new york back down to florida and i'm gonna start building the tiny home i need to buy land i feel like i need to be in florida to buy the land this is my entertainment right now just talking to you guys i can't call anyone on the phone on a service satellite sos service here's where we're at now So I was kind of curious about what satellite features the iPhone has. So if you previously have your location shared with somebody, a little satellite logo, then that means you can still share your location. Right now I can't share my location because no one's in my Find My. So like I'm gonna add my mom so that they can always see my location. This is definitely the most remote gas station we've been to so far. It says, please see cashier for assistance. They're closed in there? So that means we just can't even get gas. Should we ask these people? It says, go inside and see the cashier, but they're closed. Oh, here's the pump. I'm about to get fuel too. There's a number to call. There's no fuel that I'm aware of on the way to San Francisco. They're going to be getting gas. They're yeah. going to be getting diesel. They don't shut them off. They don't? No, it's just tourists that usually fire. You should speak because I have an English accent. She'll know I'm a tourist. Who cares? <laughs> Call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach. How much are houses out here? Our house is pretty cheap out here. I don't know. I'm actually not from here. Where are you guys from? Indiana. Indiana. You guys have been driving a while. He's not from India. He's from UK though. We're out in Bear Pass building advanced avalanche detection systems. You actually went through our construction zone on your way here. Views of the glaciers are amazing. Oh yeah. She flew over Bear Glacier to go to one of our sites. What, a helicopter? Or? Yeah. Yeah. That's insane. Probably maybe yeah. we're stuck here for a minute. How, how far is Salmon Glacier? Like we've got, an half hour. A, I've got half a tank. An hour. It's about an hour. It is very it's steep. Climbing. I don't know if my car will make it. Oh yeah, yeah it'll make it. Make it. My friend road literally road laughed and he was like, they, they take, no they take all house. the keys up there. I'm just like thinking in my head, like I'm just gonna start spinning out and just There's be stuck. Spots. There's, There's a couple spots. spots that were a little washboardy. So we're gonna have to spend the night here and wait for the gas station to open. So we talked to the locals and we found a spot that would be beautiful to go sleep. Let's go Clement Lake. Copy that. All right, here we are at Clemens Lake. Absolutely beautiful spot. Tons of campers out here. Met a German couple and then some dude that just got done with the Arctic Ocean. They have like these floating docks. I think it'd be so cool to cook on this thing. Let me keep rocking it. Yeah. We're not we, we drifting out. I know we are. <laughs> nah, this is dope. Bro, this fell, this fell. This is so peaceful though, bro. It is. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Pull us in. Let's go! Oh, thanks, guys. That should be like the beginning of the video, like us heading out on it, and then it goes to close up shots. Like the intro is like. He's like, hey, welcome to the vlog. See, there's so much content to be filmed here, bro. Sorry, yeah. I, I don't know it, you know. Oh,
Oh wait, so in that case we have to call the police. <laughs> Hi, I'm a YouTuber. My name is Mateo. <laughs> you have to watch this channel. You'll be there probably. What's your YouTuber name? <laughs> That's my name. <laughs> this is what we need. Yeah. yeah. My wife sleeps here in case I'm snowing. <laughs> this is a bed too. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, a bed yeah. too. A microwave over here. It's more <laughs> comforts than most homes in England. Yeah, it is. Don't have this. It's like a house on wheels. So. You don't get any problems with mice or anything coming in here. I guess it's sealed. Yeah, probably, probably there are issues you, with like, it. You, you know, know, but you, I don't you care. You know, know, I returned it before. Oh, you have a whole yeah, shower. You have a shower yeah, and, yeah. and then you got like a water heater, you know, like gas yeah. fire. At the hike earlier, and we, we took this nice shower, you know, like a hot shower <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> and got a freezer, right? So oh, in here, man. Wow, stuffed up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This campsite we have tonight is pretty awesome, right by the lake. Met some cool German dude, sat there and talked to him and hung out with his family for a little bit. I'm not even gonna worry about putting up my window covers. I just feel extremely safe here. I'm so exhausted after all this driving, so I'm gonna hit the hay. Tomorrow will be the Alaskan road trip day five. Day four is in the books. It was a great day. I'm wearing my long johns to bed tonight. It might get pretty cold, and uh, I have my ski mask up here, ready to go just in case I need it. Good night. Yeah.